गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम पूजा एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो टूडे लेट मी विश यू गाइज अ वेरी वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर गाइज आई होप यू हैड अ रॉकिंग न्यू ईयर्स ईव सेट सम न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन एंड प्लीज डू टेल मी ऑल अबाउट इट ऑन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो वॉट ऑल रेजोल्यूशन यू ऑल हैव सेट एंड आई थॉट न्यू ईयर न्यू वीडियो न्यू स्टार्ट लेट स्टार्ट विथ अ बेसिक सो टूडेज वीडियो इज गोन टू बी ऑल अबाउट योर बेसिक नो मेकअप मेकअप लुक और अ बेसिक न्यूड मेकअप लुक एंड टूडे आई एम नॉट गो शूट ऑन माई सेल्फ आई एम गो शूट ऑन माई डार्लिंग अक्षरा वी आर डूइंग अ शूट आफ्टर दिस सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट डू सम कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटिंग वाई आर डूइंग द मेकअप फॉर हर एंड शो यू गाइज ऑल अबाउट इट सो आई एम गो स्टार्ट द मेकअप लुक ऑन हर एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गो एंड स्टार्ट द लुक सो गाइज फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट आई एम स्टार्टिंग ऑफ विथ नाइसली प्रेपिंग हर लिप्स विथ टू फेस लिप इंजेक्शन Next time I'm applying Bioderma Etoderm moisturizer to her entire face and neck area and also to the eyelids so that they are nicely prepped. Since we are doing nude eye makeup, I'm applying MAC NC42 foundation to her eyelids before the shadow to take out any discoloration and give a plain appearance. This I am going to set with Laura Mercier translucent powder. I am using Hoola bronzer by Benefits to give a light wash of color to the eyes. This I am doing with a fluffy blending brush from Pack. Next, using Cot Dry from Mac, which is a cool toned brown shadow, I am further adding color to the eyelids. Using my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, I am going in with the shade Odd, which is a warmer brown shade, and intensifying the shadow to give a nude brown look. Now, here keep in mind to blend the shadow only till the crease line. Next going in with the shade Eden which is a nude peach shade I am diffusing the harsh lines of the brown shadow with a large of fluffy brush here I am mainly concentrating in and above the crease line This is a brown highlight shade from MAC called Woodwink and my all time favorite for nude eyes This I am applying with a flat shadow brush on the center of her eyelids and then diffusing it to the inner and the outer corners of the eyes This is to just add a slight gleam to otherwise matte eye look. Next time using is a Maybelline black gel eyeliner. Here I am just lining the eyes in a fine line with a flat liner brush. Using L'Oreal Volume Million Lash Mascara, I am coating the lashes in a generous layer before applying the falsies. False lashes I used here are Pack 54, which are not too heavy and give just a hint of oomph. Using Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Pomade, I am going in to fill her brows till the lash glue dries up. to the face i am applying indulgio rose gold oil to her face so that the makeup does not dry out her skin
primer I used is Smashbox Photo Finish Primer so that the makeup sits well on the skin. Next, I'm using MAC Strobe Cream in Peach Light or the original shade to give that dewy finish to the skin. Foundation I have used is MAC NC42 which is her exact shade match. This I'm applying with a pack foundation brush and then I'm going to blend it with a fluffy kabuki blending brush. Next I'm using an orange corrector from MAC Conceal and Correct palette to correct her under eyes and any discoloration. To conceal her under eyes, I have used Derma by Cryolan as this gives the maximum coverage. Blend, blend, blend with a cute little blender to give a smooth application. Now I know she doesn't need much contouring on that chiseled face of hers but we still need it on the camera while shooting and for that I have used NYX Wonderstick in WS02 to give the cut what we need. Again blending it with a smaller blender. Now all of this I am going to set with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Using a smaller powder brush, I am first setting her under eyes and then setting her pretty face with a fluffy powder brush. I am again using Hula Matte Bronzer but this time to contour her cheekbones, nose and jawline. Blush I have used here is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush to add a little colour to her cheeks. Going in with L'Oreal Brown Pot Gel Liner, I am using it to underline her lower lash line with a narrow pencil brush. This I am doing to achieve a subtle smudged out look. The highlighter I have used today is Global Glow by MAC. It's a warm bronzy highlighter which complements Akshara's skin tone and the look we are trying to achieve today perfectly. adding a little body glam to the look. Next I'm using a brow mascara to keep the brows in place. It's by Benefit Cosmetics and is called Gimme Brow Plus.
For lips, I have used pack lip pencil in blush to line and fill her lips. As for the lip color, I have mixed the shades Wifey and Trendsetter, both by Huda Beauty, liquid matte lipsticks and achieved the desired shade what I wanted. And then fixing it all up with a cooling spray of Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Well, that's it, and don't forget to watch the glimpse of behind the scenes for this look at the end of the video. So that's it, guys. We are done with the makeup. I'm going to quickly go and do her hair now, and then we are going to head over to the shoot. I am going to click pictures about this look and also the shoot pictures. We are going to click and put it on my Instagram. My Insta handle is Pooja Chen. That is P W O J A C H E N, which is right here above for you guys to see. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Do hit the notification bell down and give a nice thumbs up to this video if you are liking it so far. And do check out guys the pictures which are going to be on Instagram. And I'm going to see you the next time which will be much much sooner than later. Until the time, love you guys. Bye.